Here's a quick video showing you how you can get Keynote presentation software if you don't have a Mac computer. So, what is Keynote? It's Apple's version of PowerPoint really, it's presentation software, but it's fantastic and it looks a bit different. So if you're used to seeing boring PowerPoint presentations and then you suddenly see one that's done on Keynote, you'll see the difference. It really does seem very different and unique. You can get it on a Windows, on a PC, if you have joined iCloud through some other means. Now you can get Keynote as a beta version through iCloud. Now iCloud is available to you if you have some sort of Apple device, so an iPhone, an iPad, or perhaps a Mac, if maybe you've had a Mac in the past. So if you have an account with iCloud or you want to start one, then you will be able to download a control panel for iCloud for your Windows computer. So just search for iCloud in Google, which is iCloud.com, and you can see on the screen that it says it is available for Windows PC, providing that you've got started with it on, an, on a Mac device of some sort first. You may have an iPhone or an iPad or even an iPod Touch. If you don't, you could ask a willing friend if you could use their Mac and join on that. You could later change your password if you're worried about security. All you then need to do is to go to iCloud.com forward slash iControlPanel and you'll be able to download iCloud Control Panel for Windows. Now, unfortunately, I have tried this. It only works on Windows 7 or later. To run it properly, you could do with using Safari. Now, it will work with Internet Explorer. An awful lot of people don't like Internet Explorer, so it works really well with Safari. I have got it working with Firefox, but some of the features aren't fully usable, so it's better to have the browser that it wants. So if you go to support.apple.com forward slash downloads forward slash hash Safari, you'll be able to download whatever the latest version is of Safari for Windows. Then when it's up and running, on your browser, you can point it to iCloud.com and you will be able to sign in with the iCloud details that you have from when you signed in on an Apple device of some sort. And then once you're in, as you can see, you have lots of different options there, but these bottom three are the most interesting, really. You've got beta versions of Pages, Numbers and Keynote, and we're going to be looking at Keynote now. But if you do have an Apple device, you can see that you'll be able to access your contacts there. You can access all your notes and any reminders that you have, as well as your mail and all your calendar entries. So it's really useful if you do have an Apple device. Now, this is the goodie. Keynote is wonderful and it's quite self-explanatory. You can see that you can create a presentation there and this is where they will appear when you've created them. They will all appear, appear here. So lots of different things to be getting used to. When you choose to create a presentation, you'll be asked to select a theme and there are quite a few to choose from here. I've chosen this one that I love, which is a, a leather book cover. And you can see that different options come up on the right in this panel here. There are a couple of different screens. There's this one and there's a transitions one. Now, all the features that are available in the regular keynote aren't available in this beta version. We don't know what the future holds. They may decide to roll it out. But at the moment, what we're getting the huge advantage of is the ability to use their themes. As you can see, you've got things along the top that you click to put into your presentation. And the other thing you need to know about is to click that little spanner and that's the settings tool and that's where you would go to download your copy of your presentation. Now it will appear on your screen when you're in iCloud and you go to Keynote, it will appear there, but you might want to download it to save it somewhere else. So you would click download a copy. You can see that you could also send a copy to yourself there. And then you can choose whether to download it in Keynote format as a PDF or in PowerPoint format. And it will pop up with a screen to tell you that it is preparing your file for download. 
and then you can choose whether to open it or save it. So that was it. Real quick, real exciting. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Keynote.